Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we will be getting started in a couple of minutes. We're just going to allow a couple of minutes lag time to let stragglers in, and then we'll get started. All right, everybody, thank you for coming. Um, my name is Kevin Eschelbach, to those that don't know me. And I wanna welcome you all to our virtual November Business After Hours featuring Shop Local Initiatives. Say that three times fast and you're a braver person than I am. Um, we tried moving this venue up a little bit into the day, hoping that it would be more convenient to other folks. And since we've got three dozen people registered to attend today, I'm assuming that it worked. Um, our special guest speakers today, and thank you for, to, for coming to our speakers, Dan Groberg from Montpelier Alive, Tracy Lewis from the Berry Partnership, and Kay Noisel from the Berlin Mall. Um, the presenters thanked in order of uh, confirmation. So a couple of announcements from the chamber. First off, this meeting is being recorded and being broadcast live on Facebook. So if anybody is in the witness protection program, now is your chance to log off and remain anonymous. So first off, what we're up to here at the chamber is we've launched a countywide, our service area wide campaign uh, based known as Where is Elphis? And we distributed to our members a cutout of an elf to provide clues and take pictures as to where this elf may be in your business. And we're gonna be launching a social media campaign designed to for folks to guess where the elf is. And every week we're gonna draw two gift cards, two $50 gift cards uh, to local restaurants for the winners that guess correctly. Um, each day we'll feature a different business and then we'll, and then we'll have a cutoff point and we'll notice who uh, guessed correctly and then I'll automatically be registered. The gift cards are being presented by Pesumsic Bank. Thank you very much to them. 
Um, and yeah, so we're, we're gonna start that program right after Thanksgiving. So thank you to all that have already sent in their pictures. Next in December, as part of our ongoing efforts to uh, help our nonprofit members raise money during these difficult times, we are going to be holding a 50-50 raffle to benefit Lost Nation Theater. So keep an eye out for more information and the link to participate. Uh, again, the raffle tickets for that will be $10, the winner of the drawing getting half, and the chamber and the recipient splitting the other half. Some more details on that later. So let me introduce, please, Mr. Dan Groberg, the director from Montpelier Alive, who will be discussing a few things that are going on in Montpelier this holiday season. If hey, I can... thanks. thanks, Kevin. Um, yes, I'm the director of Montpelier Live, the downtown organization in Montpelier. Um, and we're sort of continuing with our uh, theme that we, we say every year, which is that Montpelier is a cozier place and a cozier way to shop. Um, the holiday decorations just went uh, out downtown today, and it um, certainly is starting to feel, feel festive. Um, and we just like to remind people that it's um, just such a a better experience and brings back the joy of, of shopping and doing holiday shopping when you do it downtown instead of um, doing it on Amazon and giving Jeff Bezos more money that he doesn't need. So um, we uh, you know, are doing um, some holiday promotions like we usually do, um, which includes um, Flannel Friday. So instead of Black Friday, we have Flannel Friday. So if you are wearing your flannel downtown in Montpelier, this is on uh, the, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, you can win prizes from the Flannel Ferry, which is a, a, a little creation of ours, which is just a fun, fun thing that we do. We have lots of giveaways um, to give out to folks. Um, unfortunately, we had to cancel. We were planning to do horse-drawn wagon rides on Small Business Saturday, um, but we had to cancel those um, because of the pandemic. Um, but one thing that we're seeing is that a lot of businesses are spreading out their sales um, more throughout the season instead of just focusing on that one day, that one Black Friday um, day. So um, some businesses are doing a whole week leading up to Black Friday, Flannel Friday. Um, some businesses are doing like every weekend is something new. I know Rome, Vermont has um, a sale on winter footwear this weekend, for instance. Um, and so spreading out the crowds, um, reminding people that, um, you know, retailers are keeping everyone really safe. They all have sanitizer in the front door, at the front door, being really good about requiring masks and all that. Um, and the other thing is that we're really emphasizing that you can, if you want to shop local, um, but still stay at home, um, a lot of local businesses have added online shopping options. So we created a directory of all the online shopping options in Montpelier um, on our website. If you go to montpelierlive.com slash online shopping. You can find all of those with quick links directly to the um, online stores for a lot of local businesses. So um, that's another fun way to support local. And, um, you know, just, I, I sound like a broken record at this point, but um, really is a make or break season for a lot of the retailers in all our downtown. Um, it's been a hard year and even with, um, even with all the grants and PPP and all that, it's not nearly enough. Um, so, you know, if people value a thriving downtown and want to see their community continue to succeed, um, time to, you know, live out our values in terms of supporting the local community and do all your, you know, commit to doing all your holiday shopping downtown this year and um, come down for, for good deals and safe shopping in Montpelier. That's all I got, Kevin. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dan. Um, does anybody have any questions? Feel, you all have the ability to unmute. So if anybody has any questions for Dan. Going once. Okay. So this would seem to be an opportune time to do our first door, door prize drawing, which is an envelope stuffed with Capital City Cash, courtesy of Montpelier Alive. Uh, for this drawing, Dan, I left your name out of the, of the mix because I think it would seem rather silly if uh, you won your own door prize. But the recipient of the Capital City Cash is Stephanie Frost. Thank you for playing. And we will get that out to you in the mail as soon as we possibly can. So next, we have Tracy Lewis from Berry Partnership. Where did you go on my list? I will unmute you, Tracy. OK. And here we go. 
Hi, everybody. Um, I am Tracy from the Berry Partnership. And um, just kind of like Dan said, I am here to talk about promoting spending in the downtowns and shopping local. Um, like he said, we really need people spending locally this year and helping out our local businesses. And um, Barry, we did a local promotion called the Barry Bonus Bucks. And we started that a couple weeks ago. And I was going to come on and promote coming out and buying some, but we sold our... Um, our last packet last night. So we don't have any more. So I can't even sell those to you. Um, but those that do were able to buy them can go down and shop downtown Barry with the participating businesses. I think there was 28 businesses that were participating and uh, they were able to get um, $50 worth of Barry bonus bucks for $25, um, which was a great deal and um, shop. Um, downtown for uh, the Mary Berry holidays. Um, our, like Dan said, uh, we were going to do horse-drawn carriage rides. We had also looked into having some uh, reindeer down in the downtown to have like a petting, petting station this year. Um, and with COVID, we had to cancel all those those fun activities. I know some of our businesses are still trying to do certain things. Um, we're gonna have a calendar of events coming out for our Mary Berry holiday events that each business is doing um, separately. And that calendar will be coming out in the next day or so. So look for that. It'll be on our website, our Facebook and Instagram pages. Um, I know our businesses are doing if you can't come into their business, if you want to call them, they can talk to you over their phone and tell you what they have. They are willing to walk things out to you, to their vehicles. Um, they are really willing to do whatever they can um, to help you so that you feel safe and can shop local. Um, so whatever you can to stay local and shop local, and really support these businesses would really be um, helpful. So I want everybody to stay safe and have a very thanks good Thanksgiving and a happy holiday season. And that's all I got. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Uh, does anybody have any questions for Tracy? Okay, seeing none, we'll do our second and final door prize raffle. This one is a swag bag provided by Cold Hollow Cider Mill from Waterbury, Vermont. It includes multiple uh, varieties of jelly made in Waterbury, Vermont. And the recipient of that will be, drum roll please, Zoe Cartwright. Thank you for playing. Okay, moving on. Next for our, our featured presenters, we have Kay Noisel from the Berlin Mall. And I just saw you on the list, and I lost you on the list. All right, here we go. Take it away, Kay. Okay, can you hear me? Indeed. Okay. Well, first of all, I do want to um, congratulate Tracy for such a unique Barry bonus box. I, I saw that, I don't know if it was Front Porch Forum or where, but um, I think that's very clever. And um, I wish you the best of luck with that. And I'd be really interested to know the results. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't snag some. I just have been too busy, basically. <laughs> um, but uh, congratulations. Um, so I am Kay Noisel from the Berlin Mall. And of course, I do have some local stores. And I also have more of what we call corporate or chain stores. I'll just list them for now. There's GameStop, Shoe Department, Olympia Sports, Bath and Body Works, General Nutrition Company, GNC, Planet Fitness, the Pasumsic Bank, I would call them local, but there's Verizon, Walmart, of course, and Kohl's. We lost JCPenney, and just this week we lost Supercuts. Uh, Supercuts uh, didn't make it because of staffing and everybody is having an issue with staffing. 
And um, for whatever reason, if it's the incentives not to work, I, I, I'm not really sure how, um, you know, why. Um, but that does put, uh, you know, a, a kink in the chain. Um, so our local stores are Vermont Bobbin. And he recently put up a website, which is helping him immensely. He's saying he's doing better now than ever. So yay to Andy Ivey. Um, Optical Expressions has always been very successful. Um, they have to be extraordinarily careful with COVID because they're dealing with people's eyes and mucus areas. So, um, and they're doing an outstanding job. I, I can't say enough about them. I don't know if people are aware, but um, Mojo Jomo, which is a smoothie and ice cream shop, is approaching her one year anniversary. So she kind of is one of those people that, no, she definitely is, fell through the gap where she didn't have enough history behind her to apply for any of the, the help, um, you know, grants and all the things that people could apply for. So she's she's really struggling, and she's got and she's got a great business, a great theme, very different. It's very colorful. Um, I I tease and joke, but it's not really a joke. I tell her she's going to be se selling franchises in five years. So try to keep her spirits lifted. Um, Real Bounce is not open. He's taking it really hard because uh, the kids. That's the um, inflatable. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, you know, it's, it's the bouncy house guy and he has a, a venue in the mall and he hasn't been open since March. Um, he's done a few private parties, but not really enough to sustain him. Um, and we have Treasures Unburied, which is actually a second hand, a, a thrift store. She's a very unique thrift store where she sells, uh, she sells more new stuff than old or at least a 50-50 split. And um, everybody loves her. Everybody loves that store. Um, she, gets, uh, she gets a lot of traffic and um, she is also opening a coffee shop in where Aeromed Essentials was. We lost them due to the pandemic. And Lauren, of course, is holding on to her State Street shop. And um, so Erica Clark is opening up Central Perks. It's going to be 50s theme. And um, she's, she's met one obstacle roadblock after another. And she's hanging in there. But she's got like $25,000 into the space. So she's very committed and um, in it for the long haul and we wish her the best. I'm trying to um, think of promotions that I can help her with. Um, I think once she gets going and with the holiday traffic, it, you know, and she'll want to make sure customer service is, is up to par. So I don't think she's gonna focus on any promotions, but after that, but please do come visit her and let her know you're in her corner. Um, so for holiday vendors, uh, that's been a real struggle. Uh, I have uh, Mike Moeller's doing the Christmas trees outside. Um, practically, I mean, I know a lot of people go to the Merritt Farm and pick their own or do that kind of thing, but Mike, Mike does well every year and comes back. So um, anyway, he's very local and works very hard. Last year he had a, a logging accident and um, almost couldn't be there, but he had his son. So this year he's all healed up, fortunately, but he's back. Um, the Go Calendars, which is usually takes a 350 square foot space is now gonna be in the hallway uh, in front of GNC there at the top of that little, those three little steps going toward Walmart. And um, they're due to set up on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, with the split and a, a little bit more chain stores than local stores, but the chain stores do employ local people who, who spend money, we hope locally, <laughs> or actually have that option. 
Um, we are doing a virtual Santa. This is brand new, hot off the press because I, it's not that I wasn't, um, I, I didn't like the idea. I love the idea. I'm not confident in um, my ability to, to help and intervene and save the day if it needs savings, but I guess we're going to go through with it. So uh, I, I am looking forward to it. Uh, I'm, I'm told it's just, it's going to go off without a hitch. So <laughs> that'll, that'll be wonderful. Meanwhile, I'm doing a nutcracker theme to decorate and um, the decorations have not gone up yet. I, I actually spent the last two days in bed sick and I did get a COVID test. So I got to wait on that. But um, we also looked into reindeer in the parking lot and it was kind of prohibitively expensive and kind of defeats our goal of bringing people in. So we nixed that, but it was a fun exercise. Um, we do require masks. We've got uh, sanitizing stations at, at every entrance exit and a few in between, of course, and signs to stress social distancing and we're just really trying to do our best to uh, stay with the program. I'm a little anxious about what the governor might announce tomorrow, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait. Um, I guess that's all I have too. Um, we want to shop local and support all our local stores and stay local, not travel, stay safe, that kind of thing. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm told that there was a trouble earlier during the Q&As that there was a problem with folks not being able to unmute themselves. I believe I've corrected it. Um, but as pe folks think about their questions for Kay or Dan or Tracy, I had one that come in that has come in. Um, Dan and or Tracy, are there any plans from your cities to do tree lighting ceremonies, things of that nature that have gone on in years past? So the governor actually specifically said that public tree lighting ceremonies are not allowed. So they are not happening. Well, that answers that. <laughs> okay, that, was, that would answer that. So, all right. And uh, my understanding is uh, the governor tomorrow is not expected to announce any new restrictions. He's going to be answering uh, clarifications on the ones that were issued before. So we can back up. Does anybody have any questions for, for any of our presenters? Tracy, just I expect I know the answer, but um, you didn't mention the usual Santa parade. Is there plans for that one way or the other? We're not doing the Santa parade. That's usually when we do the tree lighting. And so we're not doing that. OK. As I said, I expected that answer, but <laughs> wanted to be sure. Sorry. Hey, can you tell me more about virtual Santa? Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, so, so it's going to be Paul Vachon, who this is his 20th year. He's that former wrestler. Last year was my first year. I'm a year and a half with the mall now. Um, and I didn't know Paul Vachon last year or his wife, Dee, but they're definitely mainstays at the mall. They've been there for 20 years. She has a Santa's workshop, um, you know, display, and he, of course, sits and does Santa. He's practically crippled because of the wrestling. So sitting in the chair works for him. Um, so they live in Canada, and it's not even an option for them to come down here to be Santa. Prior to even the whole idea of virtual Santa, I suggested to my corporate comrades that we do, I know this might sound tacky, but a, a kata or a dummy. And uh, I, I just didn't think who could judge us, especially when I'm doing the, I'm, I think I'm, I've got a really good thing going with the nutcracker theme and I'm just, I'm trying to shift the focus a little bit. So we'll have a Santa and people can have a, their picture taken, but that would be secondary to the virtual. So virtual, There'll be tablets, it'll be run through Facebook. 
Um, they'll be up there literally in the North Pole. They're on their porch. Um, I'm, I, 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 if it all goes well, it, it could just be wonderful. And this is, this is where it's at. I mean, we're Zooming now, so why shouldn't the kids Zoom with Santa? It might <laughs> seem a little tacky, but it's where we're at. Um, as far as the technology end and exactly how it's gonna work, I had concerns about internet failure. Um, I, I just, I, you know, they will um, have the same setup in Canada as we have down here. There'll be a big screen TV with a tablet and microphone. And not being all that technically inclined, I, that's about all I can tell you. I, they they want to put the mount the screen somehow on Santa's chair, and that'll be tucked into a woodsy area. Um, and, um, you know, with all the sugar plum fairy delights, <laughs> I haven't got there yet, but I am, I've got all my props. So, um, anyway, I, I failed you. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. Um, hey, it sounds it like, it sounds like it's going to be wonderful. And, and this is what will make sense to the children. Um, I know. It, 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 that's what they're doing in school. That's what we're doing now. It's just um, for kids. It's just part of the norm, I guess, you know, and and we can, you know, 10 years from now, be like, yeah, I remember when we used to watch Santa on Zoom. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, my fingers are crossed because, yeah, I, I won't be able to be much help if anything goes wrong, which is which is not a comfortable place for me because I usually try to make myself, you know, knowledgeable. So if something, you know, I just, anyway, it's out of my hands. We, they, it's their team and it's supposed to go live on Black Friday. Yeah, because nothing can go wrong on Black Friday, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have I got a couple comments here. I'm uh, for people who don't know me. I'm Joe Shoket. I'm a past chair of the chamber board, and I want to thank everybody for participating, uh, particularly the organizations, but also there's a bunch of heads out there that we're not seeing in names. Um, but uh, thank everybody for participating. For a while now, it's been a mission of the chamber to try and elevate the businesses throughout the region, whether you're in downtown Montpelier or Barrie or you know throughout our region. So. Um, like you, we're kind of watching what goes on and trying to navigate uh, an uncertain time. So um, I would urge everybody to the extent that we can work together to uh, reach out to Kevin. Um, and um, if you have great ideas where we can help, we have a pretty active Facebook following, right, Kevin? Um, we've had some success with um, making these programs available uh, after the program for people who may be working right now and can't do it. But um, we did, well, for example, we did the Athena Awards for Outstanding Women two weeks ago, I guess, and we had a really good uh, experience with that. So uh, I guess I just want to thank everybody for participating and, uh, and, and help us to uh, float all the boats, if you will, uh, in the area. Thank you. All very true. Thank you, Joe. Are there any further questions for our presenters? All right, I noticed we had a number of businesses sign up to come to this mixer that are maybe not familiar with the format. Uh, now is a chance for uh, any local stores, any local business owners, managers, so forth. Um, you, now is an opportunity if you'd like to tell us what your business is up to this, this holiday. Hi, Jill. I'm not a business, but I'm Margaret Ferguson with a, a micro business development program with uh, Capstone Community Action. Right now we're doing a uh, $5,000 grant for people who've been in business in 2019 and registered with the Secretary of State. It's for people who may not have been able to get any money through ACCD. Um, they might be, oh, hairdressers or 
uh, massage therapists or that kind of thing, that, not just that kind of business, but they work, um, they don't have employees. So I'm just telling you that uh, I've been working hard. We, we had a million that we already gave away and then the state said we did such a good job, we could do it again. And the time is uh, crunching because people have to spend it by December 30th. So if you have any questions, I'll give you my phone number. Uh, I'll write it in the chat. Uh, so you can call me and I can tell you more about it. Margaret, are there, are there other qualifications other than uh, not being able to take advantage of the prior opportunities? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm like brain dead today. I've talked to so many people. Uh, but um, it, this is for them to, they have to use it for business expenses. They will get a 1099 in February because it'll be treated as income for the $5,000. It has to be spent on business expenses. It can't be anything like if they have a home office kind of thing, make it be uh, so that it, the IRS will be happy and not be auditing us. But uh, they can use it for supplies, inventory, um, PPE, um, plexiglass, whatever Margaret, it is they is need. This, is this the Embrace grant that you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Yes, Dan. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I'll put my phone number in here. Thank you. Well, what about the whole Hey, Kay, can you hear me? We can. Oh, yay. Talk about being technically challenged. Uh, Kim Bolduck, Chamber Chair here. Again, thank you. I would like to reiterate what Joe and Kevin have already said. Thank you all for helping us figure out these challenging times and offering a product locally. There's a lot we can do to... Uh, support each other and help keep uh, populations safe at the same time. Um, you know, I'm very concerned about some of the seniors in our area who may be not able to shop online, not be able to get out at all. Um, I was looking at what Kay was talking about and I'm wondering, is there any um, thoughts of making that Facebook Live feed available through so you know a senior could log on through them all and, and just see the people at least or something i believe that is their intent where it will be live but i thank you for that question and um i i'm, I'm pretty sure that is the way it's designed and uh but i will i will follow through with that okay and I did have one more question for you, Kay. Um, is it going to be by appointment or is it uh, a type of thing where you just wait in line? Well, we don't like lines. And I, um, I, had, I just had a meeting over the phone with them today. And um, I, I'm trying to sort out how we could make appointments and then we thought, well, maybe we'll see how that first weekend goes. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sundays only. And we figure, you know, at least half the population won't even bring their kids. I'm not sure. But um, again, thank you for that thought. Um, I haven't got there yet. Um, I want to do appointments. And I'm not sure what the best way to go about that. I did see one place that had a Santa that was by appointment. Um, I can see if I can find that in my records where I saw it and send that off to you. But uh, again, thank you for trying. That's <laughs> the best we can all do. And hopefully, you know, everyone understands. I did have one question for Tracy. You can see I've been struggling to get in since the beginning. Um, Tracy, uh, you mentioned a calendar. Could you make sure that you forward that calendar link to us so that we can um, share that with our members? I definitely will, Kim. 
And Dan, I know I struggled with a question for you and I didn't have a chance to write it down. Oh, your online shopping directory. Um, is there a place that we can reference just that? I was actually following someone on Facebook who said, how do I know who's doing online? How do I get in? You know, I don't want to go out, but I want to shop local. So again, that would be a really good link for us to have. Absolutely. I just put that link in the uh, chat so Kevin can grab that from there. Great. Thank you all very much again. Really appreciate your efforts in attending and welcome to everyone. Thanks, Kim. Hey, um, I'm also not a business. <laughs> Zoe Cartwright, I'm with the Creative Workforce Solutions or an employment initiative with the Agency of Human Services. Kay, um, I know you mentioned that staffing has been a big issue for some of the businesses up at the mall. So I'd love to connect with you offline. Um, I did have a chance to connect with Walmart's new personnel coordinator, but would like to see if there's anything we might be able to do to help out some of those businesses. Um, so would you mind putting your email and phone number in the chat? Not at all. Thank you. Also to Dan and, and to Tracy, I think you both know me. So if, if that does, you know, I, I know obviously a lot of businesses aren't hiring right now, but um, for those who might be looking for folks, please don't hesitate to reach out. Zoe, from what we hear, you might be the most popular person in the room right now. Are you, uh, are you getting a lot of uh, uh, business people contacting your agency? We hear from some. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, there are a lot of there are a lot of businesses that are and that have been hiring throughout, you know, Department of Labor has been doing a great job putting on um, weekly virtual hiring events. Um, so we are we are hearing from quite a few, um, you know, that obviously there's a, a bit of a the work that goes into making sure that's a good match between the folks that we're supporting as well. Um, so <laughs> Um, Zoe, I just, did you get that? Did that come through? I did not see it now. Okay, so the little chat box, and then I'm getting a message. Sorry, I don't understand that. I'm still learning. I, I and uh, I'm not syncing. So, um, so shall I tell you my phone number? I, I don't know why it's not working, but. Or if you like and have both of your emails, I can connect you both that way. Wonderful, thank you. Oh, that'd be great, thank you. I don't know if you want to give your phone number out over Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you would kindly do that, Kevin, that'd be wonderful. It'd be my pleasure. Okay, uh, that is, are there any other questions before we gravitate away from our prescribed program? think so. Okay, seeing none. Uh, that is the end of our, our formal program for the afternoon. I'm going to turn off the stream and turn off the recording, but I will leave the, uh, the Zoom link open if you all would like to have conversations with each other that are not being broadcast across the internet. <laughs>